Hey guys, it's Bo Beatty with Wilderness Ridge Trail Llamas and Llama Life. We have a YouTube channel and I'm called Llama Life. And today we're out hunting in Wyoming looking for bugling bull elk. And uh, we've got six llamas that we brought with us. And I just wanted to kind of go over a few tips that we use while camping with llamas in the backcountry, especially in, in grizz country. Number one is kind of the main golden rule of of having llamas in the backcountry, and that's making sure that they're fed and watered. What we do is we have a four gallon square buckets, four and a half gallon square buckets that we can slide right inside of the pin years. And then when you get to camp, you take all that stuff out and you can go grab water with that bucket from the nearby stream, river, lake, and then you take that bucket to your llamas. As when you take the llamas to uh, the water, they like to go to the bathroom. So it helps keep the streams and rivers and ponds um, free of llama crap and pee. Your llamas are very intuitive and they're very aware of their surroundings. And so as you kind of watch them, they'll kind of let you know what's going on. They'll hear things, see things, and you know, sense things before you will. If you take a look at Soli back here, he's uh, got his ears up, he's attentive, he's looking forward into the trees. And so I'm guessing there's something over here that's got his attention. So you can use your llamas big time as an aid in uh, being, you know, bear aware and looking for game while in the backcountry. So when you get to camp, you want to stake your llamas out. We have the ideal situation right here. We have a big, nice meadow with tons of grass, super tall. We really don't have to worry about supplementing feed at all. And now Wolfgar, come on bud. Wolfgar has 18 feet that he can walk around and eat everything within his circle. Just like that. So it's important to note that your llamas, you don't want their circles to be to cover one another. You want them to be separate. So from point to point you need to be about 40 feet away so your llamas don't get caught up. Starting in September we uh, we make these reflective neck bands for the llamas. They're orange cordura, thousand in your cordura, and then we have uh, reflective striping up on top and on bottom. So the reason why we do this is one so they're really easy to see and then at night, if your llamas start uh, making any sounds, getting up and getting down, acting nervous, and you can hear them from your tent, it's really important for you to get out, check them. With your headlight, you can go one, two, three, four, five, six. There's my six llamas. They all seem okay, no worries. You can say, well, I've got five of them, but one of them pulled the stake and is over there. Then you can go grab them. So it's really helpful to have these neck bands, and we do it pretty much all during hunting season, September through the end of November. And so the llamas, you can kind of hear this at night. And so if they get up in a hurry, you kind of hear, hear that start tingling. And it's just a slight little sound. It doesn't, you know, keep predators or anything away, but what it does do is kind of indicate to you, hey, llamas are getting up and down, they're moving around. So those are a few things that we always do while in the back country. Make sure your, your llamas have food and water. Make sure they're staked out properly. And then have some safety gear for them with the neck bands. Um, and also a name tag in case they get loose or just so that people always know which llama's name is which llama. <laughs> That's all I have for uh, tips and tactics of how to keep and care for your llamas in the backcountry. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Please uh, check out the channel and uh, we'll see you on the next one.